So what happened in draft? To defend Gwen first pick. Justana Alistair. Set. Yon makes no sense against this comp. Yon can't play against any of the champions. This is the worst Yon spot you can have. Um, understand they need an AD mid. Well, the Yon, Yon in fact is not a pure AD mid. What else is there to say? Uh, Lona is really bad. Obviously, just way too much armor value, value for Fnatic. I mean, this is a massive outdrop by Fnatic. Fnatic's comp is also way easier to play. Way easier. It's like they have to play with one hand. Fatality has to play with three hands. Really bad trade for Gwen. Starts Doran's bit and gets pushed in. Not a fan. For item is Letality there or BT? I mean, it should be just Letality. It's all just scale. Okay, what the hell happens here? It's a middle mid lane, it's a good ganking spot. I mean, it's a top lane, they're not even a jungler ganking. He gets snared, flash it. I'm surprised he doesn't die. I'm pretty sure he should die. Uh, yeah, I think he should be dead here, right? If they play a bit better, I think so. Bot lane, it looks pretty bad right now for Vitality. They're losing really hard. I mean, the yeah, they're losing really hard actually. Tristana feels really good when she can just perma push waves in also. So they have a freeze middle right now. Niski is in a pretty bad spot with no boots and flash. Okay, easy kill. Selfmade picks up first blood, top lane. Adam hasn't TP'd yet. Oh, he's fine. I think he survives, yeah. Not sure how Vitality is gonna look to stabilize Zix into this game, because at this point he's just getting perma pushed in. It feels bad a bit. Bowjunger stops it. Oh, he stopped the base. Okay, pink court will be cleared. Both around mid. Okay, so it's like an engage into disengage. Now this benefits Vitality a bit more. Because this is healthier, I think. And he can pretty much do anything he wants now. I, mean, I guess Vipa is full HP, but Nocturne without ult is not a good champ, really. This one. Alan gets a solo kill. What the hell? Tabai, Tabai. Okay, there's a lot of Tabais coming in. Oh, what the hell? Wait, let me see that again. Leader has pretty good CS. Ah, this fight. How do I feel about it? Uh, if they can't kill Lee, they can, I guess. People dies. Good fight for Yon, double kill. Button gets solo killed. I mean, that's a better fight for Vitality. I guess it gives Yon uh, power into the game now. Gets all of items. I mean, Crown realistic, he shouldn't have died here, to be honest. He kind of was mispositioned. So, what? Yon, Yon got only boots and double dagger? I thought he had like more gold. He has a lot of attack speed right now, but he's mostly operating on base damage still. Thank you. Uh, I think he's. I mean, he has flash and ult, but I'm not sure if he can get away with it. No, he can't. Yeah. That's a uh, that I just shouldn't happen. That's just him trolling. Should respect. Uh, Alam's gonna die. But it, maybe it's a good bait. Because they are kind of overextended if you think about it. Yeah, that's a disaster. This could actually mean game over, by the way. A fight like this. I mean, I think it's like. <sighs> yeah, you know. It's it's not good. Yeah, I mean Adam's that is fine because he baits people into him. Obviously, leader's that is the biggest mistake. I mean, Vitality champs also way weaker at fighting. Okay, leader finally got a lot of items now, so that makes me think he just didn't base before and spent the gold, which is weird. I'm not sure because the replay came up, so I don't know why he didn't base. I mean, you know, like I can say this that shouldn't happen, I guess, but. Realistic, realistic thing about this game is that Yon is unplayable into the champs. He, how can he ever fight against them? Even if he's turbo fat, he makes one mistake or he gets easy once, he can just get popped. It's such a bad pick. But this is where the silver and gold uh, reddit uses to tell me that Yon is an OP champ when I say that he's weak. 
Harold Meat doesn't do anything. Shouldn't even cast it, it gives 25 gold to opponent. Tower damage is relevant. Without the comp won't really function from behind. They don't have any champion that can play from behind. Zix is the only one and even then he was gonna have a hard time. I mean, games looking rather giga don't. It's it's very hard for them to like come back at this point. I don't know what their comeback even is. I mean also like I like optimization by Fnatic, I like the tower base and stuff. I think that's really good. Not not don't like the Moby Boots on Alistair. Oh yeah, that was good. He just got permanent hit. He has no boots also. Hmm. Me and no boots. Kind of strange. Okay, Sapme goes in and dies. What happened? So he goes in for the crab, but he has no mercs. So Rice can just CC him for a long time and do a lot of damage, I guess. Vivo's probably gonna die. Oh, he yeah, pretty good flashes by Fnatic all around. Most of them kind of won. Opposite has to back. Oh, this is looking doomed for Vitality. They can't turn this anymore. Vit Leader has no ult also. Yeah. Clean up by clean up by upset. It's game over. It's just game over now. This. They took bot possession of the map at the start, then they allowed Vitality to walk in to try and take it back, and now they're starting the Baron. They're so fast. They can actually deny vision with the Nocturne, and they're doing this right now. It's Alex gone. has already channeled there by leader. He's arrived, but can the fight go Vitality's way? LeBrock channels the Solar Flare Fate and Sealed finds nobody. Upsets on a rampage. He's already taken down LeBrock. Leader's burning. That's the second for Upset. Turns his attention to self made as Niski. That picks up the kill. Baron secured before the Teleport even completes and three quick kills to Fnatic. That macro movement for Fnatic is just so impeccable. That's exactly what the case is. Well, this Red Bull Baron a power play is working in favor of Fnatic. Killer Sang will get jumped on by multiple members of Vitality, but they can't even get the kill. The showstopper comes down. The base is opened up while this is happening. Ming Inferno Bomb comes up. That's a kill for Vitality. Turn their attention to Adam, who continues to buy time. The bottom lane tower is now going to fall as well. well. The top lane Crouch doesn't even have a stopwatch in his inventory. No, he doesn't. What proof? Problematic. Shigena gets jumped on, puts the miss down. Paranoia comes up, dash away. Adam goes low, but the shield will come up. And Whippo fires the Paranoia. LeBron will stay alive a few seconds longer. Selfmade fires the kick. It's onto opposite, but the GA is now popped. LeBron actually dies. Here comes the resurrection. That's a kill onto Hillisang. Followed by Upset, followed by Whippo. Two members left. Niski flashes forward, trying to find a little bit more. Shigena is staying alive so incredibly long. Niski goes golden thanks to that hourglass and crown shot. Throws the satchel. The tower will be able to pick up the kill. That's four for Vitality. I'm shot seven thousand points, but that's because of Selfmade, right? Selfmade made that play happen. All of a sudden, Leader will go down. He loses his flash as well. His needlework is available. Round more. Will it get taken? Hillisang as well as Niski. Now they turn their attention to the Nexus. Oh, that's a multi-man knockup from Hillisang. Adam jumps into the fray, manages to find the kill until LeBron, the Nexus star is taken down. They turn their attention to the Nexus. Selfmade jumps in, but it won't be enough. Fnatic looking for a couple extra kills before they finish off the game. And they find themselves yet another Fnatic takedown vitality.